Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome to another episode of the Salford City career mode in FIFA 20. In the previous episode, we played through a little pre-season tournament and ended up getting the win. We drew there, but we won on penalties. Yeah. That helped us get a little bit of cash in, which we spent on getting some new scouts in. So we've got two new scouts, three here that we've sent away to England, uh, Norway, and Ireland. We also use the money to buy a couple of new players as well. For example, we've got Brandon Mason, a backup left back, and we've got Nathan Wood, a backup center back, a guy that I am one of these days going to replace with Piagiani. We signed two new defenders, Brandon Mason and Nathan Wood, who are 64 and 66 rated between them, and Wood is a real shout of getting into the starting 11 over our captain, Piagiani. And when that happens, I'm going to have to make Richie Tao the new captain. I, I changed captains... Like very early on before we started the season. You know what? I'm making a decision. The actual season has not started yet, okay? And we need, like, uh, the actual League One season hasn't started. So I feel better at least changing in pre season. While it's still technically pre season, the captain's around. Richie Tao, I'm giving the armband to. Carl Piagiani, I'm sorry, mate. It is absolutely nothing personal, but. I am going to not only be giving away your armband, but I'm going to be replacing you and putting Nathan Wood in. Because I just, he's a younger player with so much more potential. He's going to get so much higher rated than Piagiani. It makes sense. And if he's going to be on the bench, then I can't have him with the armband. So I've given it to Richie Tao. It's an evil world we live in. I know, I'm sorry. But let's have the first press conference before our first game of the League One season. Is promotion more than a dream for Salford City in League One? Well, I don't know if we have what it takes. We've got a pretty good team. We can definitely push for it. I think we can definitely push for it as well. I mean, maybe automatic promotion might be tough, but we'll do what we can. After Brandon Mason's acquisition, Coventry fans are eagerly awaiting, or from Coventry, Fans are regularly awaiting to see him. When will he get his first minutes? It can take a while to settle in. Could wind up losing confidence. He'll prove he's the right man. I'm going to say it can take a while to settle in. Because again, I'm not intending on starting him. Not yet anyway. I, I want to follow to keep the spot. And then the other transfer, Woods transfer from Burrow, stands out as one of the bargains of the year. I think so anyway. I mean, hopefully he will. He'll prove he's the right man. And I'll say it on this occasion because he's actually starting. Even though the rotation player is starting, the important player is on the bench. That's a bit mad. But this is it, ladies and gentlemen, the first game of League One. We go up against Bristol Rovers. Our strongest starting 11 is in there now that I have decided. New captain, new faces. The first three points of the season up for grabs. Here we go. Let's begin this brand new campaign. Season two about to get underway. So many new faces. Sean Maguire, Ronan Curtis. We've got Joe Worrell, Alex Moat, Brandon Mason, Nathan Wood. So many fresh new faces that I cannot wait to see how they perform for this Salford City team. Every single season, we are aiming for promotion. Last season, we could only just manage automatic promotion finishing in second spot. This season, it'll be tougher. And we don't have three automatic promotion spots either. It's just two. So it makes it even harder. And we need to probably, I don't know, the, the whole task of finishing in the top six becomes that much more difficult. This is the Bristol Rovers team as well. Sean Maguire to get us kicked off a brand new campaign. League One football for the first time in Salford City's history. Good start though. Manny is in a good spot. The header was won, but it's gone way up in the air and not even on target. Fuck headers are shit this year. They really are unbelievably crap. Space here for Moat. Oh, that was well hit, but a big save Armstrong. Ronan Curtis hasn't actually like had a touch all game here. But we've got Manny Desiree away. This is big. It is huge. It's the first goal, and it's thrown into the top bins. That's what I'm on about. From a very poor first game in the final of the preseason tournament, we get the first goal of League One through the six foot five man, Manny Diaz Oubre, sent him away brilliantly. He's back from his ACL injury to score the first goal of our season. We're gonna set up. Oh my God, was that Curtis who had an attempt? but right down the middle. What a way to fuck up a great half. One pass, 
That is fucking unbelievable. I was on fire and well on top in this game. Under almost no threat and I've pissed away a lead. That is pathetic. Oh, I'm so mad. What a fucking idiotic thing to do. I've just gone ahead and just... I'm fucking pissed at myself for that. Did so fucking well just to... Oh, God, I'm, I'm disgusted with myself. Yeah, there you go. Put it to space for Maguire to chase. That's what we gotta do. And at the back... Are you fucking... I can never, ever find the right player. Curtis was in acres. And instead of going to him, it goes to fucking Manny. Trying to find a way in here. Diaz Ouvre. I'm going to try to spin. Oh, this will look... This will look decent. If we can pull it off. If we can, I probably should have tried to find... I think that was almost Pedro Jesus that was running in the middle and not Manny. But the shot was wide anyway. Going quick. Going brilliantly quick. Maguire! Oh, what a goal! Up one end to the other in absolute lightning quick fashion. Sean Maguire scores his first League One goal. I just pinged this to Curtis and Curtis just whacks it up forward for Maguire. Absolutely quick as lightning that attack. Finally, we have an 88 rated player, in terms of 88 pace player and a 90 plus pace striker. We can actually perform attacks like this. We can be quick. I want that Leicester City approach, that get the ball, move it fast, move it really, really quick. That is exactly what I want to see. Sean Maguire is going to prove to be a godsend in this team. So too, Ronan Curtis. Good play. I think three. I think it was Moat that passed to Curtis. If that was the case, then that is three of the new boys combining to score that goal that puts us back in front. Oh, wow. Now they're going pretty quick. Clark Harris. I'm waiting for the cutback, but it never came. Oh my god, he is just going to cross it in. Sessegnon with a good header away, but Clark goes for... Wow! Alright, that is more than wishful thinking. The captain in his debut game is, or as captain anyway, coming off. Danny Whitehead will take the armband for now. Oh, what a stop, Muric. I was expecting one of my defenders to cut that off. He got a shot, though, a go-go. And thankfully, it was saved. This is a tough one for Muric, but he's pulled it off brilliantly. I just need to retain possession for just a little while longer. There we go. A 2-1 win. We see out the victory and get three points to begin our League One campaign. Decent little debuts in League One from my new boys. Wood, I think, was okay. I don't know if he was the one that gave away the ball for their goal. It was either him or Session Young, I think. But regardless... I think a good overall performance from the team, not a dominant performance, but a 2-1 win to start off League One. We witnessed Mason's first minutes on the pitch as a Salford City played today. What did you make of his debut? He didn't touch the ball, mate. I couldn't start him. I figured it would be a surprise. He must give his all. I couldn't start him. I feel like all of these are relatively negative answers. He must give his all. I couldn't start him. I don't know. I'm surprised that that actually gave a boost to his morale, even if it's just a tiny bit. What do you make of such a strong debut? Yeah, Nathan Wood I thought was okay. I don't want to put any unnecessary pressure. It's clear to see why I bought him. He can offer us more. It's clear to see why I bought him. Yeah, let's go with that one. Why not? And it looks like we didn't get to see King out there today despite his solid start in preseason. What is the reason for that? He's unhappy now. He needs to keep training. I want an alternative lineup. I wanted a more familiar lineup for today. Yeah, so hopefully that's... Um, uh, it bumps him back up to a content morale anyway. Everybody is so content. We have Joey Jones being sold now as well. So another player that doesn't have much of a future at Salford now moving on. We only a few days after our debut game have another one out here against Barnsley. And that's away. I'll simulate this one only because the next game we have is against Brentford. And I'd like to take that opportunity to... I know the Carabao Cup, we had a great run last time. But I'm only going to treat the cup competitions this year as, you know, you know, second team, rotation games, and all that stuff. I'm not going to go as crazy for it like I did last season, I reckon. I mean, uh, I don't know. I just more or less really want to focus on, you know, League 2. I, I mean, League 1. I really want to focus on getting these points. Maguire with 2, Curtis with 1 as well. If somehow, you know, I get like a week-long break before and after a cup game, then yeah, sure, I'll play my starting 11. Why not? But if it's like two or three days before or after another game, then I'll have to rotate and just do that accordingly. So yeah, Brentford we play in the first round 
and another transfer offer for Gaffney. This is unbelievable. I've accepted like so many offers now for him. And so this is the team I play. It is uh, up forward, King starting. We have got Walker at right wing. Rooney and Rodney are going to be my backup strikers this season. Armstrong, okay, you know, but Rodney, I feel like I'll be able to get up to a 62 pretty quickly. And I feel like he'll be a little bit better for me, I think, when when they're at a similar overall. I think Rodney will be the better striker. I want to try him out too, because again, both Gaffney and Armstrong last season didn't totally win me over. Whitehead and Smith in the midfield. We've got Brandon Smith actually starting a game here. Piergiani's now the captain again. Dan Jones throw curled. And Hughes, our goalkeeper, backup goalkeeper. So this is a almost complete second string Salford City team. Which, for that to be our second string team, considering it's only been one season, I'm taking that. Here we go then. It is time for our first Carabao Cup game. Do we have another magical run like we had last season? Who knows? We're going to throw the uh, second string out there and hope they can get the job done. Brentford will be the team that get us kicked off in this one. Let's see who out of the second string of players can really impress. Fuck, I had nothing there. That's not good at all. They're, they're playing like a bit of a constant pressure, consistent press sort of style. I'm trying to get in fucking front of him. Can't do it. And Emiliano Walkins crossed in. That's actually a fucking great goal. I'm not even mad. My God. I had one guy that was all over one of uh, Brentford's players that I just... What are you doing? Why are you butt-fucking your own teammate? God, this game is a bit of a broken mess at times, isn't it? Look at that. That is just brilliant play. Tighter angle. Still found it to go. Still got it to go. What a move. What a move. They gave me nothing to pass to at the beginning of this attack and then just went clean through and got a good look. Fucking hell, boys. Wake the fuck up. That... Oh, gosh. I, I'm... Yeah, yeah, wow. Brilliant touch from Rooney. Rooney! Shot was well wide again. I was actually going for the other side of the goal. Look at where this went. That is a massive shank. Guys, come on. Every fucking 50-50, every aerial battle, you're losing. And now look, we're down 2-0. Every fucking time, there were like two instances in that where like two players would run at the same ball, meet it at the same time, and we'd lose the battle. Weak fucking shit, not good enough. I know these are pretty good, well-taken chances, but I'm not getting anything from my fucking goalkeeper either, which doesn't help. But Jesus, man. Oh my god, we've actually come out of that with uh, the ball. And... Rodney, cut it across the middle here, fucking cunts, you are unbelievable how the simplest of passes just are unfucking putt, you can't manage them. Rodney's got his fucking legs tangled up with another player so he can't get it off in time, Rodney, I'm gonna go from downtown here, that shot's blocked, misses that one out, Smith, pass it in time, please no, we're gonna run out of time if we're not quick here, we gotta go, we really gotta go. Cross back stick. Decent delivery that. And there it is. We finally get one. It's still a little bit more work left to do. But I've actually successfully managed to whip a cross in, find a target, and head it home. And how about that? Very nice finish. He still ended up being absolutely draped here though, didn't he? Did that even come off of his... Like it almost came off his chest more than anything. All right. We have something to go into half time with. And only one down now. Devante Rodney scores his first. I don't know if I scored a single goal with him uh, last season before I loaned him out. So, great to see him on the score sheet. Can we hopefully keep the momentum that we gained with that last goal going? Time nicely here. Is the goalkeeper going to come out for this? No. Why would he? Rodney. Fake shot in. Going around them all here. Oh my goodness, are we setting this one up or what? And off of the post, Charlie King! I've finally got a goal with him myself! Let's go! I how much time did I spend there? Waited for the defender to commit to me, I went to King, and then in off of the post with the right foot. Oh, I've waited so long! He's one of our own! Charlie King ties it up! Oh man, that feels good. That feels so, so good. Let's go! Now all I have to do is get a goal with bloody Pedro Jesus. It'll happen one day. Raw, oh, look at the attack we have here. If we can work this well. Oh, if we can. Rodney's not going to be able to get past. He cuts it back. Field fucking did amazingly well there. Like two really big involvements to kill that attack. So we have swapped up the wingers in the team. 
Look at that, the press is coming, isn't it? Oh, he's in. He's in. He's in. He's goes! 3 2! Right foot, Adam Rooney! Our leading goal scorer last season gets in on the fun. What a second half this has been. I think it's all come as a result of that last, last minute goal. We've got the momentum just shifting. And what a shot in the end. A bit of an awkwardly, yeah, you know, it's an awkward one for him to hit like that. But he has got that clean. What a comeback. We lead 3-2. Is it another magical moment for us in the Carabao Cup? Oh, boy. I'm able to control my back four here. Went in for the tackle and miss. Henry, Henri, shot. Oh, Emiliano ties it up at 3-3. I was in a bit of a predicament. I had to control players in my back four here. Went in for the tackle here, missed. And then he got past. And what is that F? I'm getting no fucking help from Hughes here. This is unbelievable. We took the lead just to have it fucking tied back up again. And that's just a waste once more. Rodney, one of the worst penalty takers, at least of our attackers anyway. So that's a substitution that makes sense, at least for the situation that we appear to be in. Back for Curtis. Oh, no, I'm not going to cross. I'm going to play it. No! Fucking once again, wrong player. Curtis, take the touch, control it. No, picked off again. I probably could have spun around and held the ball there. But it's once again, it's not going to the right player. I don't have enough time. I'm going to play this back to the goalkeeper. Be smart. Oh, look at that. You've actually managed to stop something that went on goal. Kicks it away. Yeah, I pretty much just... Basically, as soon as the ball was cleared there, I realised that we were heading to a penalty shootout. Fucking hell. Ah, oh, gosh. I feel like we've thrown this away. Even though we've come back from 2-0 down, I feel like we've thrown it away. We at least have some okay penalty takers, considering it is a rotated team. We brought on Curtis, brought on Rooney, brought on Maguire, but we don't have Murich. So our superstar in these penalty shootouts, we are going to have to rely on bloody Sam, Sean, Sean, Sean Hughes, who has not been, not been good, unfortunately, today. Really not good. He can make up for it, though, if he finds a way uh, to somehow get us a couple of stops in this shootout. I've gone top right with Maguire a couple of times. And that's a very close one, but thankfully still goes in. And this time, Hughes with the save. There we go. Rooney, I'm going to do the same again. Looking for that top corner, and it's not right up there, but the keeper goes the wrong way. Hughes, can you go for two back-to-back? -back? Yes! Oh, yes, he can, pretty much. He, didn't, he had it covered, but it was wide anyway. Now for Pedro Jesus. Can he get it? Oh, what a penalty from Pedro Jesus. That is class. And now we could hopefully get this save and send ourselves through to the second round. Emiliano scored the goal. Oh, my God, in off of the crossbar. Oh, wow. I was going to say Emiliano scored the goal that tied it up and brought us to this shootout. But it could be Ronan Curtis looking for that top corner. Got it. Yellow timed! How did the keeper not stop it? We're through. 4-2 in the shootout. Yeah, baby. Come on. We're in. We came back from 2-0 down. Lead, uh, started to lead 3-2. Threw it away with about five or so minutes to go. But in the end, all's good. We get it done in the shootout. And that, I am shocked the keeper hasn't stopped that. It's right there. Stick your other hand up, mate. Stick your left hand up and you've got it. But no, it's over. Maybe, just maybe, we're on for yet another run in the Carabao Cup. Holy dooly, what a game. 3-3 and we get through on penalties. A tense, it's not a quarterfinal, but whatever. Yeah, we get through past Brentford on penalties. We felt all the tension. Fully deserved, I was on the edge of my sheet. Uh, my sheet? My seat. We felt all the tension, I think is pretty accurate. Did you think the game would end up being decided on penalties? Well, after the last goal uh, went in, when they tied it 3-3, I was fully uh, expecting it to, but this club fights to the end. Yeah, let's do it. Your very typical sort of uh, self, you know, pumping yourself up sort of response. And uh, how difficult was it to stop Brentford from creating chances? It wasn't easy, obviously. They got three against us, but thankfully we still managed to get through. Advancing on ahead now, the next game we have is against Colchester. We already played them in the final of the pre-season friendly tournament. They are the team that came up with us, the League 2 champions, but it's a home game, so let's, let's give it a simulation. We obviously switch back 
to our starting 11 and pick up a 3-0 win with Manny getting two and Maguire once again on the score sheet. And finally, after so many times trying and so many accepted offers, Rory Gaffney is now off. And we also, just quietly, have won our first three games in League One. So we are on top of the table with nine points. I'm going to take this start, that's for damn sure. Look, we only have two automatic promotion spots. If we can somehow sneak our way in there, that'd be amazing. But at this point, I'm just happy to take top six, if we can get it. I can't lie though, the team we've assembled, that starting 11, it's it's good. It's very good. I like playing with it. I, I really do. There's not many weaknesses in it. We have a whole week long break until our next game too. That's at home against Ipswich. Um, we may potentially leave it here though, I think. Only a couple of games into the season, but Maguire's already got more goals than games played, which is amazing to see, even if three of those goals came in the preseason tournament, but whatever. Rooney's doing all right as well. Got one goal in the Carabao Cup too. Uh, Manny, uh, Manny's getting goals. We've got Charlie King as well, scoring in the Carabao Cup. I'm so happy about that. Eventually, I will get a goal with this man, Pedro Jesus. It's taking time, but we're gonna get there. I'm sure of it. Now, one thing I think I am going to do though, is uh, I gotta be completely honest. Pedro Jesus, we're training him up. He's looking like he's going to be very, very good. The one thing that he lacks is a bit of pace in the team. Like his pace is, I think, only fringe 70. So I, I like him. I want to give him games. I want to develop him. But he looks like he might be a bit of a longer term project for me because he doesn't get involved in the game as much as I would like. I, I can definitely address that. If I swap to a 4-3-3 formation, he'll be a little more central and he'll get more action, I guarantee you. But uh, Regardless, it's got me thinking. There's not many weaknesses in my team. Not to say Pedro Jesus is much of a weakness, but I would like to get another high quality right midfielder, right winger in. And I'm not really looking to pay a crazy amount of money, but I might look at maybe loaning in a player, which I haven't done yet, and a right midfielder, right winger sort of option for me. I've got a couple here that I'm gonna to start to scout. We have Daniel Arzani. We've got Marcus Edwards from Tottenham. And if we scroll down a little bit at right wing, I've also got Adama Traore in there as well, who's very in and out of the Wolverhampton Wanderers team. That would be crazy, I know. But I'm going to see if it was possible. If not, then most likely we'll go for either Edwards or, I'll be completely honest, maybe it's the Australian bias. I would love to get Arzani in the team. But all right then, I'm going to leave things right here until the next episode of the Salford City career mode where maybe we'll make one or two more signings, maybe a couple more transfers left in store. We'll hopefully finish up the transfer window, have the first batch of youth scout reports come in. Plenty to look forward to. We're well underway now with League One and so far, things are looking good. Till the next episode, my name is Master Bucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good one. <laughs>